Let's talk about House of X number four out of six. So this is a strange series for how it comes out because there's 12 issues and they come out like, so this has been two in a row and this is by far the better series in my opinion. Uh, we're almost done. So we only have like two left. And here's the thing, right? So there's a bunch of deaths in this issue and they don't even die yet, but you get to this part. It's like Dawn of X. And like, look at these books that are coming out in a couple of weeks. Oh, the characters that died, well, they're there. They're, look at this. They're alive and well now. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you could have done a better job. Like, you know, I get solicits and excitement and hype. I'm more hyped for X-Men than I have been in a long time. And it's very obvious now that Marvel is trying to make the X-Men great again. Like, we want X-Men everywhere. We want it to be like the 90s. And it's smart. You know, it's a smart idea. Look at all these X-Books. You know, X-Force number one, which I'm going to get. I'm going to actually read X-Force number one. I'm going to skip Excalibur. I'm going to take Fallen Angels because of Brian Hill. New Mutants I'll read till John the Hickman's off of it. I'm skipping Marauders. And then I'm going to read X-Men, of course. So... If you remember the last issue, they take off to the master mold because they got to take that offline. Got to get rid of the master mold. And basically, they go on a, a suicide mission to end it. And of course, it does end up being that kind of mission because most of them get taken out. Most of them are gone. Uh, they go there. There's some great action um, right off the bat. Like, we see them in the ship. The ship's, like, obliterated. Archangel is dead. Husk is taken out as well. And the art is just so good in this. There's one really cool scene. So they're trying to take down the Master Mold. Hold on. Because I can't show everything, you know. But they're trying to take down the Master Mold because it's connected to these things. And they actually bring it online. And it's, like, sprouting off all this crazy stuff. But my favorite scene in the whole book is like, so basically they can't get to it. Mystique was supposed to unlock this one. She died. So Wolverine's like looking out, you know, do you think there's it? Because obviously Nightcrawler's religious. He's like, do you think there's anything for someone like me at the end, you know, in the next life? And uh, Nightcrawler's like, when you walk from this earthly slumber, my friend, look for me. I'll be waiting there for you with open with radiant with open arms and he takes him they teleport onto the beam nightcrawler instantly gets disintegrated because they're so close to the sun wolverine's healing the whole time and he's just hacking away at the final piece there he takes it out and it ends up going into the sun and getting destroyed that's probably some of the best stuff i've seen in a comic book in a long long time in a long, long time. This is a great, great series. I picked up five comics today. Not as many as I have, like last week. Last week was a big week. And by the way, I get um, requests, where are the White Knight books? I uh, am almost there. I will have them. This week, I will have White Knight reviews up. I'm uh, going back and I've been rereading the originals. I got like two issues left and then I'll just do both issues at once and that's how I'll review those but this series man anytime I get a comic this is what I grab first and read it because I want to know what's going to happen it's it's nice that you have something that's this good and it's surprising how good this series really is but um everybody gets taken out on this suicide mission but we know that they're going to be fine, though, because <laughs> literally they're fine when you see them right here. So who were some of the people on this mission? Uh, well, one of them was Marvel Girl, Jean Grey. Uh, Cyclops, I guess she's in two books. All three of those were taken out. Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey were taken out, but they're alive and well, as you can see. So my prediction is Charles not going to like that so many of them got taken out and 
we are going to get a rebooted universe, and that is going to be the current Marvel X-Men timeline. So this will wipe away... So some of you guys are arguing with me saying, you know, oh, they haven't rebooted everything. Maybe, maybe not. I do think, though, that they're going to try again because that's the only way Mystique and all these other characters can be back. So they're going to try again, and that'll bring all these characters back. That's my prediction. And for those of you saying that's not what happens, literally Cyclops uh, gets coup de grace in the head <laughs> right there. So they're definitely taking out Wolverine fell into the sun. There, there ain't no healing factor that's going to fix that. So once again, this is an awesome book. Four out of six. Uh, if you can still pick them all up, you know, grab them. Uh, otherwise, now you're kind of at the point where you might as well wait for the trade. But uh, there's second, third printings out there. You can catch them all and catch up if you want. This is a fantastic series. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.